Hello everyone, Prerna here. Welcome back to my channel Knowledge of Maths. As you all know, we are studying CBSE Board NCERT Mathematics of Grade Six. In today's video, we will solve word problems. So let's start. On page number thirteen, you have the question as a bus started its journey and reached a different places with a speed of sixty kilometer per hour. The journey is shown here. This is the journey. The bus starts its journey from A, and it reaches some different destinations. They have given the distance between them, and we have to solve some questions they have given. Uh, these are the questions. Let's solve these questions one by one. Okay. So the first question here is find the total distance covered by the bus from A to D. Now here we have to find the distance from A to D. Before going to D, it move, uh, it reach the distance destination B and then C and then it goes to D. So to find out the total distance, we have to add up these distances. Okay. So the distance between A to B is four thousand one hundred and seventy kilometer. Distance between um, B to C is 3410 km and the distance between C to D is 2160 km as they have told us to find out total so we have to add up these distances so the total distance covered by the bus from A to D is 9740 km okay so the next question here is find the total distance covered by the bus from D to G Now, the bus starts a journey from D and reaches to G. Before going to G, it goes to E and then F and then it goes to G. So here also we have to add up these three distances. Uh, so the distance covered by the bus from D to E is eight thousand one hundred and forty kilometer, and then it covers the distance from E to F is four thousand eight hundred and thirty kilometer. And then distance covered by the bus from F to G is 2550 km. So as we have to find out total, we have to add up these numbers. So the distance, total distance covered by the bus from D to G is 15520 km. Okay. So the next question here is find the total distance covered by the bus if it starts from A and return back to A. Means it starts its journey from A. It goes all these destinations and again it return back to A. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to add up all these distances. Then we will get the total distance. So let's add up. Distance covered by the bus from A to B is four thousand one hundred seventy kilometer. Then B to C is three thousand four hundred ten. C to D is two thousand one hundred sixty. D to E is 8140 E to F is 4830 F to G is 2550 and G to A is 1290 km So let's add this we get the total distance covered by the bus is 26550 km Okay Now next question here is can you find the difference of distances from C to D and D to E yeah of course we can find it out so for that we have to do a uh, subtraction so let's take the distance covered by the bus from D to E is 8140 km and then take distance covered by the bus from C to D is 2160 km to find out difference we have to subtract it difference of distances from c to d and d to e is 5980 km okay now let's see the next question the next question is find out the time taken by the bus to reach a to b c to d e to f and total journey and they have given us the speed as 60 km per hour now to find out time we have to use one formula the formula is time is equal to distance upon speed 
we must know distance as well as speed then we can find out the time taken by the um, this uh, bus okay so here they have given us distance and they have also given us speed so easily we can find out the time so first we will take a to b okay uh, here the distance between a to b is 4170 km and speed is 60 so let's use this information in this formula so it will become time is equal to 4170 upon 60 so the answer is here 69.5 hour means the time taken by the bus to reach B from A is 69 and half an hour. Okay. So, let's see the next is C to D. C to D, the distance between C to D is 2160 km and speed is 60 km per hour. So, let's use this information in the formula. Time is equal to 2160 upon 60. It gives answer as 36 hours. So the time taken by the bus to reach D from C is 36 hours. Okay. Now here third one is E to G. To find out the distance from E to G, we have to add up these two distances. Okay. So the distance between E to F plus F to G is 7380 kilometer and the speed is 60 kilometer so let's use this information time is equal to 7380 upon 60 it gives the answer as 123 hours so the time taken by the bus to reach g from e is 123 hours okay now the fourth one is total journey to find out total journey we have to add up all the distances okay now here i have added all the distances so the last total distance we got as 26550 and the speed is 60 km per hour so the time is equal to 26550 upon 16 it gives the answer as 442.5 hours so the time taken by the bus to complete the journey is 442 and half an hour okay now let's move to the next question now here they have given us the information about the ramen shop here they have provided some things and the prices of each thing as well as they have given us the sales during the last year the things sold in the last year the quantity of things sold in the last year okay so uh, on this basis they have asked some questions let's solve those questions one by one okay now the first question here is can you find the total weight of apples and orange oranges ramen sold last year okay so let's look at those that information here the weight of apples he sold in the last year is 2,457 kg and weight of oranges is 3,004 kg. To find out total, we have to add up this weight. Okay, it is 2,457 plus 3,004 gives us answer as 5,461 kg. So, the answer is the total weight of orange and apple is 5461 kg and this is the answer of this question and the second question is can you find the total money Raman got by selling apples so for that we have to use the price of the apple okay the apple is equal to rupees 40 per kg and the quantity sold is 2457 kg okay so to find out the total money we have to multiply these two numbers so the 2457 into 40 gives us the answer as 98218 so the total money raman got by selling apples is 98218 okay now the third question here is can you find the total money Raman got by selling apples and oranges together? Now only we found out the money got by Raman by selling apples is 
uh, first we use the price of it and then the uh, weight we multiplied those numbers we got the answer as 98,280 so the money got by selling apples is 98,280 same way we will find out the uh, about oranges okay so the orange is rupees 30 per kg and the quantity sold is 3004 we will multiply those numbers both these numbers is 3004 into 30 gives us the answer as 90,120. So the total money Raman got by selling oranges is 90,120. And they have asked total money Raman got by selling apples and oranges together. So we will add up these numbers money got by selling apples plus money got by selling oranges is 98,280 plus 90,120 gives us the answer as 1,88,400. So the total money Raman got by selling apples and oranges together is 1,88,400. So this is the answer of this question. Now the next question is make a table showing how much money Raman received from selling each item. Arrange the entries of amount of money received in descending order. Find the item which brought him the highest amount. How much is this amount? Okay. Let's solve these questions one by one. First, we will make the table. Here the table. These are the things. These are the prices of things. These are the quantity sold by the Raman. Okay. So, uh, they have asked us how much money Raman received from selling each item. So, now only I have told here we have to multiply these two numbers. We will get the amount, how much he got. Okay. Now, uh, here the quantity sold apples are 2,457 and the price is 40 per kg. So, the total amount he got by selling apple is 98,218. And now oranges quantity is 3004 and price is 30 per kg. So the answer, total money is 90,120. For combs it is the quantity is 22,760 and it is each one is for rupees 3. So the um, total money got by Raman by selling combs is 68,280. Same way for toothbrush. We will multiply 25,367 into 10. We got the answer as 2,53,670. And for pencils, we have to multiply 38,530 by 1. We got the answer as 38,530. And for notebooks, the quantity is 40,002 into 6. Gives us the answer as 2,40,012. And for soap cakes, it is 20,005 into 8 gives us the answer as 1,60,014. So, next question here it is arrange the entries of amount of money received in descending order. As you all know, descending order starts from greater number and ends at smallest number. If you want to understand detail in about descending order, you can go through my another video. In that, I have explained about descending order as well as in ascending order. Okay, so let's start the let's write these numbers in descending order. It's here 2,53,670, then comes 2,40,012, then 1,60,040, then 98,218, 90,120, then 68,280. And then last 38,530. Okay. And now the next question they have asked us to find the item which brought him the highest amount. Here as I told the in descending order the first number will be highest. So the highest amount got by Raman is 2,53,617. And how much is this amount they have told means we have to write the number in words it is 2,53,617 okay uh, so today's video we will end up here only if you like my teaching then please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye everyone